One of Gerald Durrell's greatest legacies is this, is this integration between his staff that's based here at the wildlife park and the staff in the field. It's just something that's unique in the zoo world and the conservation world. You know, nobody does it like Durrell. And this, the integration between the two, the kind of understanding, the rapport, the um, input, the help, the support that's given between these people is just of incalculable value. Durrell um, runs conservation projects all around the world, but the pe people in Jersey don't really know the full breadth of what we do. And there's almost the same number of people that work in Jersey working overseas on conservation projects in diverse tropical regions, islands, uh, mountain areas. It's, it's a very interesting um, program. But we have very little opportunity to bring those people together. So the Conservation Symposium is an opportunity once a year to do that. And we've brought around 20 people, researchers, external experts, our own staff together to discuss how well we've done, what are the big pressures we're facing, and what the future holds. This week is just one of the best weeks in our calendar, I feel. Uh, we, bring, we bring over the people from our, our far-flung field teams from Madagascar and Mauritius and India and, and the Galapagos, and they all converge here to work with our staff, our Jersey-based staff, and to talk about not only what they've done in the past, but really how to build on it and look to the future, what they're going to do to keep pushing that mission to save species from extinction in those areas where they work. We're coming to the end of our five-year conservation program, so we're spending a lot of time looking back did we achieve the targets we set out for ourselves? But primarily looking forward, what is going to be the key role for Durrell in the next five years? 2020 is going to be a big year for, for nature conservation. There will be global conferences that will assess, did we do what we said we were going to do to save biodiversity worldwide? And Durrell is going to be an important player in that. So we've got a busy five years ahead of us. And right now, at this meeting, we're putting all that planning in place. This gathering couldn't be done without, without outside sponsorship. You know, Durrell, we've got our financial challenges, and so we are so grateful for people like AB and AMRO, who have come in uh, uh, as external supporters for what we do, bringing people uh, over from their far-flung places to, uh, and hosting them here. We're having a big dinner party in London to celebrate uh, the work that these people do, so I'm really looking forward to that, and thanks to AB and AMRO for doing that. It's a great feeling to be part of this symposium. The main reason for that is the fact that we are actually making a difference in the world as Avian Amro by bringing together everyone from Durrell staff who come and share the knowledge on how to save species. Durrell and Avian Amro are a great match in terms of similar values, especially when it comes to sustainability. It is important for us as an organization to foster knowledge sharing and networking. We thought what could be better than sponsoring the overseas staff of Durrell to come back to where it all started here at the park today, share the knowledge with each other and see how they can improve on saving species which is the mission of Durrell. The Durrell Symposium is a fantastic opportunity for us all to get together from different parts of the world to share our experiences, share our successes, understand some of the threats that other people were facing in these different parts of the world and um, yeah, just to have the support and the understanding that we're not alone working in these remote places. We know that some of these field programs are, are quite well kept secrets and they shouldn't be. And we're very keen to engage with Durrell's membership, particularly in Jersey. So we wanted to provide an opportunity for our members to come and meet some of the field teams. So we have an evening um, set aside where we're going to present some of the key findings, the major projects. We're going to show a couple of films from the field and hopefully just have an interactive evening, a chance for some questions and answers, some dialogue, and, and just for the membership in Jersey to get a, a better understanding of what we're doing around the world.